Hey everybody, Steven here, Gear Stuff and Things. I'm not sure why I'm doing this so much. Either way, uh, today on the video, we are going to be creating a quick hard rock slash metal tone in the quad cortex. Um, the reason I want to do this is because I want to showcase how great the quad cortex is at just creating really great, very usable tones in a matter of moments. And I think we can hit this one at under five minutes. So let's hop in to Cortex Control and get this tone dialed in. For the example today, we're using this SG, tuned to drop C, let's get into Cortex Control. So first, we're gonna need an amp. I also have a noise gate already turned on. Sorry, I went ahead and did it ahead of time because it's gonna get noisy if I don't. So uh, let's start with an amp. I think for this example, we'll go with, say a dual rectifier modern, and I'm gonna move this back a little bit. And I'm just going to pick an IR that sounds good to me, just at least one I'm familiar with. And uh, you can pick whatever IR you want when you're car carving or crafting your tones. I don't know what word I was actually going for, but carp carving came out because, you know, brilliant guy you're watching a video of. Um, and I'm going to choose an IR that I know sounds great. We're using a rectifier. So let's use a rectifier all-purpose cab. And let's hear what we've got so far. Pretty solid sounding already. Sounds like a rectifier through a rectifier cab. Um, let's start dialing in the tone a little bit. So for me, I think I'm going to increase the gain to about six. We're doing hard rock and metal. Maybe we need a little more gain. I'm gonna drop the mids just a tiny bit to about 4.5. Uh, I find it to be a little boxy sounding. I don't know if that's due to the mids or to do with the bass. Uh, I'm typically not a big fan of dual rectifiers or triple rectifiers. So um, I'm just gonna do my best to make something that's usable in a quick fashion. I'm gonna bump this up to around seven because I like a little bit of treble in with my tone. So let's hear what not bad. I think it could use a little bit of tightening. So we're going to go with an overdrive of some sort. I guess I could go with the 808. Uh, ooh. I'm going to go with this guy right here. This is the Vermural Ray, I think, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, these are some positions I've saved as defaults because this is just what I think sounds best to my ear. But uh, you might have different views of it. But if you're not familiar with this pedal in real life, it's kind of a, a high-end tube screamer that's got a bit of a different gain thing going on. So let's hear what we have now that I've added that just in the current state it's in. And maybe we'll have to make some changes. Maybe. gain. Let's take it down to 1. 1.4. Uh, All right. Pretty okay in my opinion. I'm still going to drop this down a tiny bit. All right. And now let's hear it. guess that's the video technically um, we were able to dial in a really usable tone in less than five minutes and uh, to be honest 
that's where the quad cortex shines. Now, I love the Helix. It's my favorite platform as far as modelers go, um, just because I, I'm used to it and there's so many options in there. And that is one thing that the QC lacks pretty heavily is the amount of options, especially with uh, additional effects, EQs, reverbs, that sort of thing. And the amps are a little lacking, but it's also because it's only been out for a few years. Helix is getting close to 10 years now, or maybe it's already at 10 years. Either way, they've had a lot of time to develop their product and have more things on there. And this one hasn't quite got, hasn't quite in. Look, words are tough for me, all right? I don't need you judging me. I just don't need it. You're gonna anyways, it's YouTube. Everyone's judging everybody. Anyway, um, I just find that the QC is not quite there with all the options, however, in Helix, I find that I spend more time tinkering to try to get things exactly the way I want them, and I can't always just jump in and get exactly what I want. I have things saved that I can go to, but if I'm just starting from scratch, because there are so many options, I get a bit of option paralysis, and can find myself hunting and pecking and making little tiny tweaks and adjustments constantly to get it exactly where I want it. With the QC, I can pull up a few things really quickly and get the tone I'm looking for, it's very usable, and I didn't have to do a whole lot. You, you watched it, you know. We're less than five minutes to create a perfectly usable rock or metal tone. It may not be the tone you prefer, uh, but just in this scenario, it's perfectly usable. And that's kind of what I was hoping to highlight here about the Quad Cortex. It's very easy to get really usable sounds that would be great in a live or recording environment. And uh, I think I did an okay job with that. I'd like to do more videos like this. I'm gonna share things about different genres, uh, different guitars, of course, and all that sort of thing with the Quad Cortex and how easy it is to just create patches that work for just about anything. So um, if you guys have any questions or anything you'd like to know about the Quad Cortex or more uh, topics you'd like to see covered in relation to the Quad Cortex, I'd be happy to make those videos for you. Um, if not, I hope that you just enjoyed watching it and hopefully it inspired you to mess with your quad cortex if you have it and quickly get something carved out that's usable and good to go. So that's the video, real quick one today. It's been me, it's been you. This is Gear Stuff and Things and uh, this was making a tone in quad cortex. More to come, see ya.